What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So, in today's video, wait, before we even do all that, make sure y'all hit that like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're new to my channel, definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can get notified every single time that we post a new video. Boo -boo. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a vision board. This was requested from someone on my Instagram. I have put up a poll. There's some things that y'all want me to put some videos about. And someone has said a vision board and I thought this was amazing. So the vision board is going to be made for my vision from now until the end of the year. This year has really messed up a lot of my like goals usually i would do a month to month basis like plan for my goals and what i want to achieve by the end of the year or something like that um but this year kind of like really screwed that up i had actually bought a agenda at the beginning of the year and i used it all the way up until march until we went into quarantine and once we went into quarantine all of that stuff just kind of like went out the window i did keep working on my goals i actually started the youtube channel <laughs> And that's where I met y'all, boo. Um, so things were great still during quarantine. I still worked on myself, but I just didn't have it mapped out. And for me, that's something that I really like to see. So normally I would put it on a board and every morning when I wake up, it's like the first thing that I see. So I went ahead and bought a board and I found these super cute markers at Dollar Tree. I don't really know how I'm going to make this board, but hopefully it's cute.
so this is how my board came out and i think it's super cute the battery did end up dying so i didn't get me making the whole thing i'm going to go ahead and detail and describe everything that i put on my board up top i have 2020 vision board in my favorite colors and i put my name into it so it's more personalized i have a section for short term i have a section for long term i have my daily goals i have my youtube goals i have mind body and soul goals i have some quotes over here and i have some affirmations so we're just going to start here where it says the short term goals first i have meal prep i really need to focus on meal prepping so i'm not spending so much money outside every time that i am spending money on outside food it's usually something that's not the healthiest and it's just super expensive and i need to really work on meal prepping so i can you know one budget my money and two have healthier eating options i do want to have a no spend month um and i put on the bottom save 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 so what i mean by that legit other than like putting gas into the car i legit want to spend like zero dollars which is going to be super hard for me because if y'all know me i like to online shop and it's ridiculous so this is obviously going to be a super hard challenge for me but i definitely want to try that before the end of the month i don't feel like changing these other than like the quote that's all the way at the bottom so for the most part this will stay up here i left some open spaces just in case i did want to add things into it but the other thing was just to pay the bills on time which i'm normally good with but this is every type of bill that i have so my credit card bill my insurance all of that stuff i just want to make sure that i'm paying on time these are goals that i really need to stick to so i'm not putting myself in any bad situation over here for long term i have maintained a great credit score pay off as much debt as possible get down to 120 pounds start a business and learn a new language so learning a new language has been on my list for a long time not sure what language i really want to learn i'm just down to learn all different type of languages i think it's really cool to be able to speak multiple languages and understand multiple languages if you're down to teach me how to speak a new language then boo, comment down below because that's what i want and i don't care what language it is and make sure you take your time with me because you know i do want to start a business when i say get down to 100 pounds i haven't skilled myself in a really long time so i have no idea how much i weigh right now but i do know that when i was 120 pounds i loved how i looked it wasn't muscle 120 pounds but i do want to work on getting down to 120 pounds and all healthy weight and muscle that's my goal my long-term goal so whatever i gotta do i'm gonna get there boy you know i'm gonna get it done pay off as much debt as possible and obviously we all need to maintain a good credit score as we grow older and want to buy a home or want to buy a car that's something that we really really need to so just because i have it in long term it isn't something that i'm not working towards now it's still something i'm working towards now but this is a long-term goal that i need to continue to work on and make sure that i'm you know getting it done down here we have youtube so my plan for YouTube is to have one to two videos a week. This is obviously going to change more. I have a lot of thoughts in here that I didn't fill in because every day I'm growing and every day I'm learning something new and I'm always going to be adding to this. So I have, um, obviously I want to work on getting more view time. I have engaged more with viewers. So I kind of feel like you guys only really like see me really active on Instagram is when I'm sharing my videos so i need to engage more like for example when i did the poll of what kind of videos you guys want me to do i want to keep doing stuff like that so i'm putting out content that you guys actually want to see and then my goal by the end of the year is to have 5,000 subscribers so make sure you guys are sharing these videos so people can know about them and i can keep getting subscribers so we can make that goal happen over here i have mind body and soul obviously if you have a vision board this may not be something that you have on yours but this is something that i really feel like is important for everyone to work on and make goals for because we need to really focus on our peace and our inner self having goals isn't just oh paying off bills and doing all that you really need to work on yourself and do things to make you know yourself happy so in here i have meditate daily I have drink more water, work out daily, start one thing new, mindful eating, declutter, no social media for one time a week, read 20 pages a day, and get up when alarm goes off. So, I'm not going to go through all of these, but some of them that I really wanted to focus on was like declutter. When I say declutter, 
I'm not talking about like declutter my room and clean up my room. I mean to really like declutter everything. So things that I'm holding on, things that I'm afraid to let go, things that is just holding me back from like moving on and growing, I need to declutter that from my life and let it go. Um, no social media for one time a week. I really, really, really feel like I spend a lot of time just scrolling on my phone, not really looking for anything. So that's something that I really want to like just do and be able to know like, you don't, you know, I don't feel like I'm addicted to social media, but I do feel like, you know, whenever I'm bored, that's just the first thing that I go to. So I want to be able to know, like, girl, you went 24 hours without social media. You don't need um, drink more water. We all need to be drinking water. We already, we always hear, oh, drink a gallon a day, but honestly, it isn't the easiest thing to do in the world. But it is something that we need to do. I read this post that said, oh, when you're tired, drink water when you're mad drink water and it's true i've been tired a couple times and i drink a lot of water and i felt better and sometimes we get into these angry mindset or these angry moods and we don't like it and it's probably just because you're dehydrated mindful eating that goes hand in hand with my meal prep so we really need to eat things and actually know what we're eating if you look up the things that you're eating i guarantee you'll stop eating a lot of it just because it doesn't have any benefits to you. It actually just harms your body. And when you look up healthier things and you understand what it does for your body, you really start to think about what you're putting in your body so you can better yourself and not damage yourself. So that's what I meant by that. I do want to meditate. I think that I should do this daily. Um, I've done it a couple times, but I always do it when I'm in a uncomfortable like mood and it helps but i feel like i should do it every day so i can avoid getting into those uncomfortable moves the other ones i'm not gonna really explain but if you want to know you just hit me up and you already know that i'm gonna let you know what i meant by boo next i have my daily goals so these are goals that legit i feel like i need to apply and remember every single day and i have no fried food as number one because i seem to be in love with fried food and I don't eat like chicken anymore I don't eat red meat so mainly it's like fried fish sandwiches or something like that but I or french fries I'm in love I love 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 french fries so that's something that I really just want to like cut out because fried food is just ridiculous for you no matter how much you work out if you ain't eating good it ain't gonna do nothing for you boo so I need to make sure I'm not eating fried food Another daily goal is drink one gallon of water or more. So again, no matter what, this is my goal. So I need to have it everywhere just so I remember, drink my water. Next, I have take breaks. And what I meant by that is like, I feel like sometimes we just go through the day. If we're at work, we're going through the day until they give us that hour break. We're going through the day until we take that 15 minute break. And sometimes you need to just take that 15 minute break for yourself because things can get real heated and then we're ready to explode so like sometimes you really need to like do whatever you need to do to take some time for yourself regularly and that's something that i want to do next i have no need buying so again i have a bad problem with just so i really really need to remember that if i don't need it don't buy it then i have my night and morning routine obviously that's something that we all do but i do need to remember to take care of my skin because if you don't take care of your skin it's not going to take care of you i'm sleep at a good time not staying up late because i noticed that when i stayed up late i always wake up grumpy because i ain't got enough sleep and everything just crumbles from there so i need to go to sleep at a reasonable time and normally i like to do between 10 and 10 30 for some people they might say that's super early but i think that that's a good time i wake up in the morning like around six i'm energized i'm ready to go next i have stay in touch and this is something that's very like broad the way that i worded it but what i meant is sometimes i like to separate myself and go into like this little hole where i just want to be by myself so i need to stay in touch with people it's not good to want to be alone all the time um that can really put you into a very bad like depression state and i think like i need to stay in touch with people especially when i'm feeling like i want to be alone I have workout and then remember why 
I'm a strong believer that everything happens for a reason and I need to remember why I'm doing things when I'm ready to give up. Next is don't let people control your energy. I get mad like super quick sometimes and I say like don't let people control your energy. Even if somebody's doing something you don't agree with, really, really, really try your best to not let them control your day because your energy is very powerful and if you're giving off negative energy, you're only hurting yourself. You're not really hurting the person who's hurting you because they won once they get you mad. This quote over here says, breathe in confidence and exhale fear. Affirmations, if you don't know what affirmations are, I would highly suggest you guys look it up. Um, it's very important. My affirmations, I have five here. I am strong, I am beautiful, I deserve the best. I make a difference. I am worth it. My plan is to wake up every single morning and say this. Every single night before I go to sleep, I need to say these words. I am strong. I am beautiful. I deserve the best. I make a difference and I am worth it. Those words are very, very powerful. Those words I really feel like can boost my energy. These affirmations may be different for everybody. These affirmations may work for you. But when you say these things, when you talk great about yourself, when you speak on yourself in these ways, you feel like you're on top of the world and there's no other feeling that you should be feeling about yourself. Down here, I have a quote from one of my favorite motivational speakers of all times and he'll probably always be my favorite motivational speaker and it's Eric Thomas. Hopefully you guys know who Eric Thomas is. If not, make sure you guys listen to him. I listen to him every single morning because he's just the bomb.com. This quote is, don't cry to give up, cry to keep going. I plan on changing this often whenever like, you know, I feel like I need to see something else. But this one means a lot to me because when things get very heated, I cry. And I don't look at it like, oh, I'm crying to give up, but that's really what it is. I'm crying because it's very stressful. I'm crying because it's just, I don't wanna deal with it. I'm crying because I'm fed up. But it says, cry to keep going. So it's like, I need to think about why I'm crying. I'm crying because this means something to me. This, this is something that I really care about. And I need to cry to know like, okay, this happened and I need to fix it. I need to keep going. I need to realize that this means something to me. So I need to do whatever I can in my power to make it happen and keep going. I think that this board came out super cute. If I made it look pretty, give it a thumbs up. So that's gonna be the end of this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and comment down below anything you feel about this board. I love you guys and I will see you in the next vlog.